Hello Aries, how are you? Happy New Year's. Welcome to Powered by the Moon 7. Please guys, like and subscribe if you see what's going on, if you see anything that uh, here you resonate with. If you like my style, happy 2022 Aries. So Aries, the reason why you see your cards already on here is I went 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes in and my little devil knocked the screen over. My, my stand, my scalp, my little fur baby. So, um, I'm just gonna read it without doing all the shuffling and all that. Yours won't be as long, Aries. I owe you big time and I will get you guys, um, maybe your own personal first only read next week because I feel bad. But literally, I'm already kind of behind on this because COVID has hit my restaurant so bad and I have people out left and right and I'm either working or whatever. And I should have anticipated this, but I wanted these reads to come out next to 2022 as close as possible, right? Like, why do you want to hear something that I recorded two weeks ago? People do that. I'm not going to. Everything's going to be a day or two before. I did do a few the other day, which is now two days ago, three days ago. Okay, so Aries, for your or love or oracles, guys, this is how I do get my full spreads. I don't put you on a clock. It's sixty dollars. Email me at Powered by the Moon Seven. They generally last forty-five minutes to an hour. I do oracles. I retouch on the tarot of the love oracles. I do a career spread. I then do a few questions, whatever you want, and I answer if I have not already touched on it in my readings, okay? Um, this one will not take as long. I'm going to have to pay OU back, Aries, but 30 minutes in, and I'm crunched, okay? I feel really bad about this, but this is how I have to do it. So in your romance oracles, you got, it was safe to love. This could be the one, and forgiving and learning, Okay. Your first card, and what I got from this is that, you know, you may be um, feeling, and I had said, saw separation a few times through my cut. I feel you were in a, I was saying on the other one, you were in a separation. It could be the one, but there's some healing and forgiving and learning that needs to be done around this, and it's safe for you to love this person, and why you don't, well, let's go. First of all, this relationship, you pulled the death card first out. Transformation, work, killing, going through a dark night of the soul. You really need to go through a dark night of the soul, and you may need to with this person. So you got night, then you got page of cut, or the death card, page of pentacles. Here we go. Knight of cuts in reverse, ten of cups in reverse, justice upright, chariot in reverse, uh, Nine of Swords in Reverse, Empress in Reverse, Fool in Reverse, Ten of Cups in the Upright, Tower, Hierophant, Hangman, Ace of Cups, and Page of Cups. So, what I was saying on your video is I know you guys need work and transformation done because you are completely stuck. I saw the Six of Swords in Reverse. You have Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords, Movement Cards. Chariot movement card, um, the full movement card, all in reverse. You guys are completely stuck and you need to do the inner work to get past this, okay? I also feel that, well, because this is your Ten of Cups and I believe you are the other person's uh, Ten of Cups, um, they're your happiness, you're their happiness. I believe this tower is going to come in and bring you guys to another level in your relationship. But I do see that both of you are going to get a different perspective and put a new spin on this love. But I also feel that apologies needed on both parts here. You guys hear my dogs playing right there? They knocked this thing over again. Oh, I'm going to be so mad, Aries. This, that's the, that's the one. So, um... There was some sort of, like, I think there was some justice needed to be done from a betrayal. And it has been taken care of. But I just see you guys so stuck on it that a tower is going to come 
and blow it apart because you are meant to raise your vibrations and raise up this relationship into a higher level commitment. Like the Hierophant is a signed contractual relationship that um, is spiritually guided, um, spiritually advised. And, it, and I think, like I said, you're going to bring new freshness to this, this uh, relationship. Now, if you are not in a relationship, in a separation, and you're in a relationship, you know, this person makes you happy, you make them happy, but you're not seeing movement forward with them. You're just stuck in this relationship, and you want more from it, but they're, they make you happy, so you're not ready to leave them. And you may need to learn to forgive something from them as well, as I see it. The justice and the forgiving and learning. But I feel that when that tower comes, it's going to raise your relationship up. You guys are going to put a fresh start and freshness into your relationship. Doing more date nights. Maybe going to get some therapy together. Because I see you two making it. And being really, really happy at the end. Once the death and rebirth is done. This relationship needs a death and a rebirth to it, okay? So, I then move to your career, guys. You guys are happy in your job. And for Wands, it's a divine union. I also did feel that some of you are your own business owners, okay? I did get that feeling when I first was uh, pulling up the cards. I was like, oh, some of you are business owners. I feel whatever you do, you shine and you shine harder than other people. You do a really great job at what you do. Hold on one second, let's go. You do a really great job at what you do. You are the queen of pentacles in your company or in your own business. So which means you're stable in it and you know you like it and it brings you enough money to provide for your family and provide for you and the things that you want and a good lifestyle. You're very happy in this. But I do see where you're waiting for some ships to come in. Now, that could be you're waiting on um, more clientele. You're waiting on whatever. There will be a little tower in that waiting. Because you're looking out in the world and the horizon. So you may be bringing in new ships. More creativity. New creativity into your work or whatever it is that you do, right? But the tower is going to come. So I think your ships are going to come in because right next to that was the sun card. Okay. Um, you do enjoy and love a lot what you do. Like I said, I feel that this is made for you. It's not your own business. You're very loved at your company. Um, your bosses love you. Your co-workers love you. You're good at what you do. You're on your game. And you bring a lot um, to the table for them. So, Aries, you got the best career read I could see. Um... I'll put one more, but I, yes, guys, again, I am so sorry that it was done this way. This guy messed it up. Hey, you have no reason to be on guard there, defensive. Like, guys, there's nothing toxic about it. There's no asshole boss, you know? Right, this is a great empress. Yeah, you work well with others. You also might, like I said, be an uh, entrepreneur because you're by yourself there, holding that up by yourself. If not, you work well with others and you got a great foundation and you're comfortable where you are and you're happy where you are. Okay, Aries, this is a really great read. I mean, you're not going in from it anywhere time soon, the world in reverse. It doesn't cause you mental anxiety. There's tons of communication between your bosses, co-workers, clientele, you, you name it. There's no strife within this. It, it doesn't bring you any heartache with your three of swords in reverse. Six of wands, victory. 
I believe at one point you just took a leap of faith into this and you've just been moving forward six of swords since. I like it, Aries. I like it. Come on, now go on, now. That's what I have to talk to. So, um, I feel bad because this video is not as long. It was already almost like I said 30 minutes and now. Because I'm not sitting here shuffling the whole time and all that. So, Aries, I owe you big time next uh, week. I will put uh, a special new full spread read just for you guys. Aries, just for you guys, I'm going to do a you versus them full spread read before the week is up. Okay, these are coming out Saturday the 1st. You will have a full spread, you versus them, Aries Collective only. By the next Saturday. That by God, guided by you, Spirit, let's go. Anything, anything that they might want to know, need any special messages, we can get out to Aries. Friends, family, co-workers, relationships, situationships. Yeah, guys, you're really stuck. You and your partner, or you're either stuck in a separation. You and your partner are stuck. You just need to bring some new life to it all as far as, you know, like I said, if you're in a relationship, if you're in a separation, you need to do the work and you need to do it together because you guys are stuck as heck. I did have a picture. I'm trying to be YouTube friendly here. Let's go, Spirit. Led by God, guided by you. Any kind of... Okay. They don't usually have me do all that, but all right. Any messages? What are they taking a leap of faith into? What are they taking a leap of faith into? So there might be somebody in your energy, take it as it resonates, a friend, a family member, um, whatever it is, does not give as much as you give into this. And you want to put a completion, take a leap of faith and end this. Tell this person to go on. That's a friend, most likely. Or family member, it can be. Um... What is going on? I think that, you know, they don't, they get, they, they take and take and take and they don't give, give, give anything and you're tired of it. Yeah, you don't want to nurture this. You want a completion to this. Nobody wants that. Somebody just taking everything while you're giving a lot of love to them. Yeah. You may have some regrets on how much you've given this person. Whether it be time, money, emotions, whatever, everything's worth something. And somebody sucked it out of you and didn't give anything back. Because you got a big heart and you love. And you work hard for the things that you have. So why, you know, why you just got to give it to somebody and they don't give anything back. You've worked hard in this, this friendship, this family member. I'm feeling it's one of those two. Give it whatever it is, even if it's a lover, whatever it be, a job too. You know, but I'm feeling this as a family or a, fr a family member or a friend that has taken a lot of advantage, and you have a little bit of a regret of how much work you put into this, but you're not gonna anymore. It's complete. You're done, and you're at least done giving. To this situation. Yeah, you're moving on. The chariot. You're moving away from this. Yes, you're going to finish your death and rebirth. You're going to give it to this situation. And you need to give it more to that. Because. Is this it? What is going on here? What happened? 
Well, it used to be a Ten of Cups. It's not anymore. It's in reverse. I just think you feel you're going to be better uh, getting out of this situation with whomever it is, Aries. Um, like I said, take it as it resonates. I think that you'd be better off. I think you'll have more energy and time to put into this situation. This person sucks your energy. They take a lot and they give nothing back. And you give a lot. Too much. King of Cups. I just think you know you'll be better off. Will of Fortune next to the Chariots. You need to go on and not juggle this idea anymore. Not wonder if you're being wrong. Not wondering if, you know, is this wrong of me? Because I see that with the Empress there. You know, this is not wrong of you. If somebody's taken, 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 always got, you know, all the conversations on top, lock, like, then, yes, you need to. And the pinnacles move away and go be to yourself and take care of this love situation up here. Don't keep yourself stuck in somebody's that, you know, it's very selfish. It's a very selfish energy when I see the Queen of Pentacles in reverse like that. Very selfish. And you just don't need this, all right? And you're intuitively being guided to, and you're going to be so much happier because you're going to be able to do that work that I'm telling you you need to do up there. Okay, for this lover situation, yes. This person takes so much out of you that you can't focus on this. They don't even care that you're going through this with somebody. They care about what they're getting out of you, how much time you could give to them, how much conversation they can take up. They probably haven't even listened to the fact that, you know, you're going through a struggle with a person that you love a lot. Do they know just how happy you are? Well, they know how happy you are because they come and take your energy and your money and anything else they can from you. From what you created out of your career. Again, take it as it resonates. It could be whoever. Change in the wind. Yes, there's going to be a change in the wind here, guys. You guys are going to do a lot of work. I kept seeing the death card. Rejuvenation. Yes, see, you guys are going to do a lot of work. Renew some things with your partner up there, whether you be in, whether it be you're in separation or it be that you are, um, you know, just having a rocky time in your relationship. Rejuvenation, change, and win. Uh, absolutely, I see it. Let's go, spirit. Look, I got guided by you. Go. Don't let somebody take advantage of you, Aries. Which is shocking to me because Aries easily is not the one to taking advantage of. Led by God, guided by you. And it could be money, physical. It could just be anything. Motions. They take advantage. They take a lot and they give very little. And you give a lot and get nothing in return. So. Happy, happy. You are going to be happy, happy. You are with your job. Very much so. I love your career, bro. You're going to be happy and happy, happier up here when you get this tower moment, okay? I think you're going to find that this relationship is going to go to new heights if you're in it or if you're in separation. It's going to be coming to an end, the separations. Round and round. Yes, I think you go round and round in your head, round and round with this person down here that I was seeing too. I think you got to get out of your head a lot. Like I said, do the work. Clear your head for this. Leave this person behind because they don't even care about what you're going through. They don't even care what's going on with you. You may receive a message or you may be sending a message of love. Okay, guys? I like it. Rejuvenation. I just feel you do. Truth be told, let, you know, be real honest with yourself about things, you know, about the situation up here. A 
I like it. Aries, I do. And again, I'm sorry the way this happened. Um, I'm not going to try to extend this out much longer. I just realized that my shuffling is a lot of what goes on here. Um, Aries, if you like what you saw, you want a personal read, please reach out. Moon 7 at gmail.com. Better yet, I'd love for you to subscribe and stick around and watch more. Email me. Let me know what you'd like to see, what I can and can't do. Um, or what I maybe I could do a different spread. Or, you know, if you want to see more oracles out of me, which I'm taking my astrology class and stuff. So I will start reading more of the signs and things like that. Um, other than that, guys, be well, take care, be blessed, and bye for now, Aries. Oh, yeah. Be looking for your you versus them. Full spread only for Aries. Bye for now. Be blessed.